What is up, guys? Major Magpie here, and welcome back to Dying Light. Uh, in the first episode, we saved Mark's life down on the 13th floor. Now I've got to uh, talk to Raheem. A little shit. Let's see what he has to say then. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay. Um, change into runner's clothes and room 194. Okay. Where are this? In the bike helmet? Hey, you must be my roommate. Hogan? Hello? Wow, not like sound, yeah. Uh, being ignorant. Clear stash. This is your clear stash. You can change clothes, yeah, as well as leave any items for storage. Survivor rank increases, you will get new outfits. Fresh clothes. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Meet Raheem on a tower. Uh... That doesn't go that way. So. Oh, go up. What kind of stupid question is this? Hello. Token. Um, hey guys. Hmm. Oh, sorry, friend there. Wanna go up again? Can't be a friend that doesn't mean. Open sesame! Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Close! Fucking liability, that's good. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here! Yes, it's certainly a very pretty game, this. Jura anymore! Hey, ma'am. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? 
Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Yeah. Get ready, man! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Oh yeah. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Oh. Not bad. For a noob. Oh. oh, oh. oh yeah. Big ass jump up. Oh, oh. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Damn right. A crane on a crane. Whoa. Hey, ma'am. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely, no. 
At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Okay, no. Use elevator to get the ground floor. Oh, might be going outside. Outside to say the Zorbaz. Alright. To wave the elevator down. Going down! Grandpa! Alright, they've given me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Hey man, we talking? Oh, oh, what am I you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By yeah, the man. way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also? If you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. Creepy <laughs> <laughs> <Be> bastard. <laughs> Quartermaster items in stock. Thin pipe, lockpick, medikit, metal parts. Get a whole lot. Yep. And then the nails. Hey, dude! Cat got your tongue? I have your gun. Huh? I have your gun. I am it. Right. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. That is the beautiful outdoors.
south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. That's what that. Door. That's what that. In your face. They're out of combat stamina, Jesus. Like four hits or something. Why to repair your weapon? Hey, hey. Like a monkey. Hey, dude. Come here. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Antizen. Postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city hoping some of the infected would eat them, so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Hey. Speed keeps you alive. So don't Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zara's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Oh, survivor run. Yeah. Oh. Level up in survival starter kit. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival. So, graphics, firecraft, as simple throne stars, and Molotov top tables. Let's go ahead and purchase that then. Since we don't really have a choice on anything else. Okay. Hey, Spike. Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. 
But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antison, we are lost. <laughs> Chase here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, uh, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. Ukraine, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Help truck survivor. Sixty one dollars. Hey, some boy. Oh, hello. A bit. Eight dollars. What do we Open sesame. Chemicals. Okay. String. Anything else to do? Go in here. No. Oh, uh, they're straight across. Hey, here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Craig. Black. Let's get it up. Stamina. Part of the pipe. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Beautiful. He is now. You can come out now. Hello. Hey, ma'am. Oh, man, I think it's too late for this oh. guy. Oh. Okay, it's done. 
Indeed. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Do I do that? Okay. Oh, there. Job done. Ah, shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. Okay. Lights are on. Um, I think I'll go ahead and leave this episode here. Uh, I'm sorry it's moving a bit slow. It's a lot of uh, videos at the moment. But again, I don't want to make it too long. I am enjoying the game. Uh, visually, visually, it's very satisfying. Yeah, I think we should go ahead and end this one here. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.